this is a very racist society. I mean, it's pretty shocking. Uh, and uh, what has happened in the last roughly 30 years with regard to African Americans actually is very similar to what Baptist describes in the late 19th century. Uh, remember what happened. Uh, this, the constitutional amendments after the, during and after the Civil War were supposed to free uh, African-American slaves. It did something for about 10 years. Then there was a North-South Compact, which essentially granted the, the former slave-owning states the right to do whatever they wanted. And what they did was criminalize black life in all kinds of ways. Now that created a kind of a slave force. In fact, one of the most interesting books on it, Douglas Blackman's, is called uh, Worse Than Slavery or something yeah. like that. Uh, it threw most, mostly black males, but also women, into jail, uh, where they become a perfect labor force, much better than slaves. If you're a slave owner, you have to pay, for, you have to keep your capital alive. If the state does it for you, it's terrific. Uh, no strikes, no disobedience, uh, perfect labor force. A lot of the American Industrial Revolution in the late 19th, early 20th centuries based on that. Actually, it pretty much lasted until the Second World War when uh, there was a need for what's called free labor in the war industry. After that come about two, two decades in which African Americans had a kind of a shot at entering the society. Uh, a black worker get a job in an auto plant. The unions were still functioning, maybe buy a small house, or send his kid to college or something. By the 1970s or 80s, it's going back to criminalization of black life. It's called the drug war, which is a racist war. Ronald Reagan was an extreme racist, didn't hide it. And the whole drug war, so-called, is designed from policing up to you know, eventual release from prison uh, to make it impossible for the uh, black male community and more and more women and more and more Hispanics, Hispanics to be part of the society. In fact, if you, if you look at American history, the first slaves came in 1619. I mean, that's half a millennium. There have been about three or four decades in which African Americans had a limited degree of freedom. You know, not entirely, but at least some. Now, of course, it's for, for black elites, there's some privileges, but I'm talking about the mass of the population, which is being, which has been uh, recriminalized and incidentally also turned into a slave labor force. There's prison labor, for example. Well, this is American history. To break out of that is no small trick. Yeah. In fact, if you take a look at the election, say the last election, uh, in many ways it's a civil war. Uh, the red states of the Confederacy. Mm -hmm. Extends a little beyond, but that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, this is a real battle. I mean, uh, 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 the, these two founding crimes, slavery and extermination of the indigenous population, they're very much with us. Take a look at Indian reservations today. Yeah. It's not a pretty sight.